Leaders from both parties in the House and the Senate are meeting in the White House today with President Barack Obama to reach an agreement to avoid the impending fiscal cliff. The parties will meet and try to compromise on the automatic tax hikes and spending cuts set to take effect on January 1st. Republicans, led by House Speaker John Boehner, are working to extend the Bush-era tax cuts and are meeting much resistance from the Democratic Party, who, led by Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, are demanding that the GOP-held House pass a bill that would allow taxes to rise on income over $250,000. One conceivable outcome of the talks is to simply delay the problem and extend the time allowed for negotiation. Yi Bing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. Officials at the San Francisco Public Library have denied repeated claims that some of the books they offer contain bedbugs. Bedbugs infest urban habitats, burrowing into bedding, books, and other household items. In 2010, there were 567 bedbug complaints in San Francisco, the most of any county in the state. The library says that they very rarely receive a book that is suspected of bedbug infestation, and when they do, it is sealed in a plastic bag and discarded. According to the National Pest Management Association, 8% of bedbug exterminators have claimed to spray down libraries. A bedbug can live without eating for up to a year, but 30 minutes in a dryer at the hottest setting can stop the pests. Yi Bing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. Construction of the Devil Slide Tunnels, California's first highway tunnel project in a half century, has been delayed as crews take time to complete finishing touches. The tunnel would replace a segment of Highway 1 that snakes alongside the Pacific Ocean near Half Moon Bay. Previously, the tunnels were scheduled to open by the end of the year, but it has been pushed back to early 2013. Devil's Slide gets its name from the massive boulders that can fall from nearby cliffs onto the roadways during storms. Construction began on the tunnels in 2007 and has cost an estimated $439 million, $100 million over the original budget. Yi Bing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. The 14th China, Russia, and Mongolia Ice and Snow Sculpture Festival has been kicked off in North China's Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region this week. A total of 32 ice sculptures and 123 snow sculptures are on display based on cartoon characters and architectural symbols of the three countries. The Ice and Snow Festival will last until March 2013 and will be the host of many events, including a China-Russia youth hockey competition and ice games. The festival was first held in 1998 and combines the natural resources and the cultural resources of the three countries, making it an influential international event. Yi Bing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco. <laughs> Test runs have begun for the Wuhan subway line, China's first subway line to cross the Yangtze River. The trains have been running through the almost 28-kilometer tunnel for Wuhan Line 2, which links Wu Chang to Hong Kong over the past three months. But now, they are finally starting test runs with passengers. The line is expected to handle half of the city's cross Yangtze traffic flow, and transit officials are hoping that it will ease the gridlock on bridges over the river. The Wuhan Subway Line 2 only takes three minutes to cross the river. The line will be Wuhan's first subway, and it is estimated to transport at least 500,000 passengers daily. Ebing He, John Berge, ICN, San Francisco.